Um, so Dog Eat Dog, which is a new film directed by Paul Schrader, starring Nicolas Cage and Willem Dafoe. Um, Paul Schrader... Well, I mean, he's not Paul Schrader. He a, has a great sort of filmmaking history, you know, things like writing Taxi Driver and directing American Gigolo, Light Sleeper. And in two, recently is 2002. So as recently as 2002. That shows how old I am. I think 2002 is recent. Anything this side of the 21st century. Made Autofocus, which I really, really liked. Then there was the debacle of Dominion, the prequel to The Exorcist, which, if you don't know this story, um, they were making this prequel to The Exorcist. They got Paul Schrader to direct it. Paul Schrader directed it. At the end, they decided that the film was so terrible that they would dump the film and start again from scratch wow. with the same cast, well, largely the same cast, and they made the whole film again, this time directed by Rennie Harlan, which was Exorcist the Beginning, which is the stupidest film you have ever seen in your life. And if you remember, David Thompson came on our programme when, when this programme used to come from you know, the old place yes, the in old. White City. And David Thompson said, well, he'd seen uh, Dominion, a prequel to The Exorcist, and he said it was actually really, really fine work. So I was very impressed by that, and I saw it, and I just thought it was boring as pants. And um, was, Are pants boring? Well, these pants are particularly boring. Anyway, since then, we've had films like The Canyons, which was... Uh, this film starring Lindsay Lohan uh, and James Dean, not that James Dean, but James Dean, and it was rubbish. So, uh, it when, was when you're saying it like D E E E E E Dean, lots of E's. Right, so James Dean. Yeah. Um, and uh, I remember reviewing that and saying it was just really depressingly tawdry and rubbish. And uh, Paul Schrader then, uh, which is perfectly his right, said that I was not fit to review his films. Uh, and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Uh, but I'm going to anyway. So now we have uh, Dog Eat Dog, uh, which for me is down there with Dominion and the Canyons as a uh, late period uh, straight to DVD. Let's just try and uh, move over it very quickly. Um, uh, it stars uh, Nick, uh, Nick uh, Cage, as I said before, and it's a story of uh, three lowlifes uh, who are together, stop me if you've heard this one, need one last job to do in order to, you know, get everything together because they need to get the thing. But, but of course, stop me if you've heard this one, in the course of doing the job, things go uh, terribly wrong. And uh, stop me if you've heard this one, they then all fall out with each other. Oh. There was me, Troy. There was Mad Dog. And there was Diesel. See, people pretty much can't stand Mad Dog, and I get it, I do. But what you gotta understand is, I know this guy in a very particular way. I barely knew Mad Dog, but he knew my parole was coming up, and he took his fall from me. He just did it, like that. And so, somebody like that, you owe a lifetime. Based on a book by Eddie Bunker with a screenplay by Matthew Wilder that sounds like the worst impression you've ever heard of Tarantino and directed by Paul Schrader doing the worst impression of Oliver Stone doing the worst impression of Tarantino in Natural Born Killers. It starts in garish pink with a scene of uh, violence which is meant to be made more shocking by the garish pink but is in fact made more tedious. Then proceeds through an endless series of uh, strip clubs and you know the ingestion of huge amounts of drugs, huge amounts of swearing stop me if you've heard this one uh cliched uh voiceover cliched narration absolutely not i mean it's so sub tarantino as to almost not be able to aspire to that level um one of the co-starring roles is indeed schrader who uh, i would think that it was self-serving other than that it looks like a more reasonable reason is that he just couldn't be afforded to pay another actor wallows around in its own uh, self-consciously, you know, uh, sh shocking, uh, but actually just unbelievably tedious uh, male maelstrom of sh sh pointless, sweary, nonsensical violence. It was one of the most boring films I have seen all year and for me goes straight into my top five worst of the year. And I'd be... V I mean, it's currently neck and neck with the uh, gods of Egypt as the most tedious viewing experience I've had this year. But it, the, the year hasn't finished yet. You know, who knows? Maybe it'll pull it all itself all together. Frankly, I doubt it. And it's called uh, Dog Eat Dog, and it's not actually out until next week. But uh, I just thought it was worth getting looking it in. Looking forward to it. Uh, looking forward to already. it already.